liebe dich. Ich liebe dich, Eugen. Ich brauche dich so sehr. Ich bin ein Nichts ohne dich. This film is Fassbender's first depiction of gay life. And to me, that makes the film particularly significant. Erstens schlafe ich nicht besonders gern mit Besoffenen. When you review Fassbender's work, we think of him so much as a gay man, as a queer filmmaker, but he didn't actually often talk about homosexual relationships in his films. Darf ich dir meinen neuen Freund vorstellen? Das ist der Biberkopf? Guten Tag. Das ist mein Vater. Freundlich. Der gefällt mir schon viel besser als der letzte. He's saying homosexual society is, is a part of larger society. So you can't separate being a gay man from being a man and from being um, bourgeois or not bourgeois, from being white or not white. Bedienen Sie sich ruhig. Danke. Falls du die Kuchengabel vermisst, sie liegt links unter dem Teller. What I imagine he asked of the men uh, he was romantically involved in, that they come into his class, but they don't join it. Because once they join his class, then they become less erotic. They become part of what he's actually trying to flee partially through those relationships. Sag mal, kannst du das? Das ist nicht albern. Ich kann es auch mit zwei Händen. Pass drauf, die Leute werden schon ganz aufmerksam. He understood that there was a kind of sadomasochism involved in trying to change people's um, oh. class or culture through a relationship. Ein you could see that Fassbender is apologizing for certain things in his own life that he feels very conflicted about. Hallo, Liebling. Tag. It's like by putting them out on the table, it's almost like a form of psychoanalysis. They become visible and they become less implosive. To, to his own sense of self. I had forgotten how harsh it was in terms of its critique of gay culture and gay subculture, and that was a little bit surprising to me. But it also has sympathy and empathy within it, and I think that's the thing that he's able to do simultaneously, is to be cruel and kind. 